Having trouble on defense in Madden 24? Well, you can't stop the run. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, special needs. Or can't stop the pass. Help me! Help me! This is the video for you. So if you want to see what tips, tricks, and cheats, I'm using to get results like this. Thank you! We don't it on my ride when I drive. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be going over 12 tips, tricks, and cheats that you probably didn't know that gives you a huge advantage on defense in Madden 24. But before I do, I make a lot of videos like this, so if you're enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel, and I appreciate all the support. And if you want more help on offense or defense, you can also check out my ebooks as they all come with a free 17-page tips and strategy guide. Links to download instantly in the description and the top pinned comment. My first tips are going to be some important functions that you can do before the snap as pre-snap adjustments and setting up your defense correctly are probably the most important thing you can do to improve your defense so if you aren't good at making adjustments quickly i suggest going into practice mode and working on improving your ability to make faster adjustments before ever playing a live opponent as they will use things like no huddle to gain an advantage against you my first tip is how to change players quickly as it still amazes me just how many players are still using the original method of pressing the b or circle button and cycling through all 11 players on defense until they land on the right defender if you're still doing this, you're stuck in the Stone Age of Madden, and there's a much faster way. And they improved this feature several Maddens ago. Now, instead of cycling through defenders, you can simply hold the same button in while using the directional left stick to choose what defender you want to control, and it allows you to go in any direction. Once on the defender of your choice, you can make individual adjustments, like changing their assignments to zone, man, or even putting them on a blitz. But you can save time on this step, too, by simply using the quick adjust menu, as this will allow you to set up your entire defense without leaving the player you Decide a user on that particular play. The quick adjust menu is broken down into three levels the secondary, the linebackers, and the defensive line. To change anyone in the secondary, press the Y or triangle button twice. Then, after this, you just have to select the player icon that you want to change and then choose what assignment you want to put them on throughout the play. For linemen, you will want to press the D pad to the left twice, and for linebackers, you will want to press the D pad to the right twice to bring up these same icons before choosing the player and the assignments once again. When it comes to secondary adjustments, though, there is a function that allows you to go even further and manually move your defensive backs without ever leaving your user once again. If you press Y or triangle once, it will bring up your coverage adjustments menu. If you press the A or X, it will bring up individual coverage options, which will allow you to do specific coverage adjustments to individual receivers, like shading left or right in the direction that you think they will run their route, or it will even give you the ability to press or even back off of a receiver if you think they're too fast for the defensive back to handle. And you can do all this without ever affecting how the rest of the defense covers the other receivers. If you want better run or pass defense on a specific play, you always have the option to guess run or guess pass by pressing the RB or R1 button to bring up the guess play menu and then choosing pass or run by hitting up or down on the left stick. Doing this will definitely give you a huge advantage if you guess at the right time, but doing this at the wrong time can create just as big of a disadvantage as well. Guessing pass will help your pass coverage get into their coverage assignments faster and will also make your pass rush do things like ignore play action fakes and go right after the quarterback for faster pressure, but it will also make your defenders easier to block and slower in pursuit, which can result in much bigger, easier runs for your opponent. While guessing run will send the entire defense after the running back while leaving receivers wide open down the field, making it so that you only want to use these adjustments sparingly. But what if I told you that you can give yourself similar advantages without the same penalties for guessing wrong? If you want to create a stronger run defense or pass defense, instead of guessing pass or run, you can have the similar effect simply by spreading or pinching the defensive line and linebackers. If you want to stop inside runs, simply pinch the defensive line by pressing the D-pad to the left and down, and it will close up any inside run lanes. Doing this will still have penalties as well though as it will take away your outside leverage making it harder for defensive ends to pass rush and maintain the edge on outside run plays but the penalty isn't as severe if you want to stop outside runs or improve your pass rush simply spread them the same way by hitting the d-pad to the left and up and this will improve your rush angles making it easier to maintain the edge on outside runs but it will also make inside runs a little bit easier as well as it will widen the gaps but the penalty for guessing wrong here is much less making this an option that you can use on every single play while saving the guess pass and guess run 
run functions for more obvious situations like fourth and inches to guess run or fourth and long to guess pass. If you really want to stop the run, there is a specific type of coverage that is designed to do this better than any other defense in the game, and that is any cover four defense that you choose. As this is the only defense where the safeties have run fits that they will react to first as long as you don't guess pass before the play, meaning that they will walk down to the box and try to stop the run like a nine-man run commit with only outside cornerbacks dropping back on receivers until the safety's play recognition kicks in and they drop back into coverage as well. So if you ever have a hard time stopping the run inside or out, this is the best defense to use. Just bring the safeties closer to the line of scrimmage and they will act like extra linebackers. My next tip would be how to read an offense as there are several important pieces of information available to you at all times like the score, the game clock, and several other things that I went over recently in a previous game play video that make playing defense much easier. So if you guys want to see that, I will have a link in the description for that video as well as an on screen pop at the end of this video as I can't recommend that video enough. But something that I didn't go over in that video is the importance of watching what the quarterback is doing pre-snap, as there are only several program pre-snap animations used to show that the quarterback is making adjustments. If you ever see the quarterback turn his head and yell to anyone, this is an animation for most adjustments like hot routes and play changes. In fact, if they are making a hot route, they will turn their head and yell in the direction of the receiver or tight end that they are changing. So if you see multiple animations like this, you can be pretty sure that your opponent is going to pass. Whenever a quarterback taps his hip while in shotgun or taps his shoulders while under center, this is the universal animation for communicating with the running back, either to flip the play, which is more likely when under center as most shotgun plays can't be flipped, or to block the running back, which is more common in shotgun. Recognizing these QB animations in real time can be a huge advantage. Next up, I'll go over some things that you can do after the snap that give you a high array of success. If you're not good in coverage, there is a post snap function that you can use to help you out called the press slash chuck receiver function. All you have to do is stand directly in front of the receiver that you want to cover, then press and hold the A and down the left stick and you will stick to this receiver like glue down the field as the receiver routes will guide you in coverage. Just make sure that you are directly in front of the receiver as giving up too much inside or outside leverage will let the receiver get out of it much faster. My next tips are going to be about tackling as making sound tackles and limiting the amount of extra yards your opponent gets are key. The best type of tackle to use is the diving tackle function as this is very overpowered this year for many reasons. Number one, it covers the most space, allowing you to close gaps from tough angles including from behind. Number two, you barely have to touch the ball carriers sometimes and it will often just ragdoll them in unrealistic fashion. The best hidden benefit of this though is it bypasses those annoying tackle battles as they will never pop up from a dive tackle animation. If you tackle any other way though, get into the habit of spamming the air X button as this is the only button that ever pops up for a tackle battle. So if you are spamming this button on offense or defense before contact, you will often win instantly. Speaking of spamming buttons, if you find it difficult to consistently catch passes, whether on offense or defense like interceptions, this is most likely because you're not timing it properly. A few years ago, there was an exploit in the game where players realized that all you had to do was hold the catch button all the time and remove the need to time catches and interceptions. To fix this, EA instituted poor timing penalties for doing this too early or too late, but most people don't know that you can remove these timing penalties once again simply by spamming the catch button repeatedly as there is no downside to doing this and it will always result in a catch. I do this every play in my gameplays on offense and defense. So if you watch my gameplay videos, ask yourself, have you ever seen me drop a pass? I recently made a few other videos on this topic just like this. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links on the screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.